Hello everyone, this is Kali from NCS. We are training center specialized in Microsoft Dynamics Business Center training and we are located in Toronto, Canada. This is my email address. If you have any training request for Microsoft Dynamics Business Central, you can send me an email or you can look me up in LinkedIn, message me there. Uh, today subject, we are going to talk about a subject that is covered completely in the Financial Essentials course, which is uh, closing a physical, a physical year. Uh, I got this request from Thomas. Thomas is a controller in a company here in Toronto, and they started recently using Microsoft Dynamics Business Central, and he would like to close the fiscal year, the previous fiscal year that he had open in accounting period. So today we are going to talk about the two steps that we have to perform to close the fiscal year. So the first step, I documented this already for Thomas and for you guys if you like to have a look here. So the first step will be to go to accounting periods page. To go to the accounting periods page here, you can search for this page in Microsoft Dynamics Business Central and go to the accounting periods. And then you can close the fiscal year from here using this button, close year. What will happen after you close the year, it will put a flag for the the open fiscal year, the most recent open fiscal year that it's supposed to close. It will put a flag on the closed on the closed uh, uh, column. And what will happen as well is that it will be locked also. So all the starting dates, you can. the meaning of date locked is that you cannot change the starting date here. So this will be step number one to perform, to close the accounting periods, the most recent open fiscal year. And what will happen again, it will close the fiscal year here using this flag will be enabled, this flag, and the date locked it will be enabled also. So you cannot change the, the, the starting date after you close the year in the accounting periods. This is step number one. Let's have a look more. So this is the message that you will be getting. It will tell you, for example, that this function closes the fiscal year from January 1st, whatever the most recent open fiscal year. It will close it. Once the fiscal year is closed, it cannot be opened again. There's no undo button or you cannot open the fiscal year again. And the periods in the fiscal year cannot be changed. This is what I mentioned here. These periods, they cannot be changed. So by confirming this message, this will happen to the accounting period. So it will place here a Boolean, uh, a true field, a check mark for the date locked and also it will place a check mark for the closed flag this is step number one and you see here this will show here clearly that the most recent open fiscal year you will have the flags enabled for the closed and the date locked okay now step number two will be to close the income statement to run closing for the income statement. Here's a picture that I put that will show you the GL account cards for this uh, GL account 1110. And there's a one of the important fields in the GL account card is if it is income statement or balance sheet. If this account is income statement or balance sheet. So what does that mean is that when you close the fiscal year using the close income statement, it will balance all the income statements account against the retained earning account. This is why it was very important when I mentioned before in one of the other training courses to specify if this account is income statement 
or if it is a balance sheet account because when you perform step number two which is closing the income statement it will look at this account is it income statement then i have to balance it against the retained earning account if it is balance sheet it will ignore this account gl account so it's very important when you specify or when you create your chart of account to specify correctly if this account is balance sheet or if it is income statement because of this step here that we are talking going to talk about and this is an example for office supplies account it is income statement account so this will be impacted the balance will change after we run step number two which is closing the income statement you see because it is income statement account its office supplies account okay so you see this is the other step to close the income statement by running a batch or actually it is a report uh, or a function if you want to call it it's called close income statement so when you run this function you have to specify the fiscal year ending date and you select the general journal template which is normally i select general and you select the general journal batch you can create your own batch or you can use the default batch if you want it's up to you you can create your own batch like here i created my own batch it's called close or you can use the default batch you have to specify a document number and you have to specify the retained earning account and this is very interesting here you can close by business unit codes or you can close by dimensions what does it mean to close by dimensions you can select the dimension that you want to run this close income statement by for example i want to run this close income statement by dimension department or by dimension it's called project or by both of them so you ha you will have the same account repeated more than once based on the dimension we'll see that in a second here so this is the second step to close the income statement what will happen when you run this function you will have the journal if you go to the general journal you will see that uh, there were some lines created in this journal the close batch as i mentioned or you can use the default batch it does not matter but you see here this is the posting date it has c in the front c means that this is a closed period you know c means it's closed period it's a closed date if you want and this is the document number that we selected and this is the gl account that uh, it will all these accounts are income statement account as i mentioned before this is very important to specify the, the accounts correctly if it is income statement or if it is a balance sheet account okay and what will happen at the end after after you run this function you will see that the last or, or the last record or the last row in this batch it will be the retained earning account and it will balance all the income statement against the retained earning account and then you can post you can post the journal and then the fiscal year will be formally closed now normally i check i check after closing the fiscal year you can check that thomas also that uh, the chart of account will be updated so you will have here new balance you will have uh, all the income statement it will be impacted they will be impacted by closing the fiscal year let me show you a few of these functions here in the application so in the application here if you go to accounting periods and then you will be able to see here these are the accounting periods if you click on process and close here you will see this is the message that i told you that it will go and check what is the most uh, or the first open fiscal year it is in 2014 it's still uh, it's still open until now 
so this is a confirmation message that you have to confirm you click yes once you click yes you see here it will be closed the flag will be here closed and the flag will